2005, um, I got pregnant again with our son Jaden. He actually passed away um, about six and a half months later. Around this time, Liza found out from a friend that Lamar had been seeing someone else, and that started to put a lot of strain on their relationship, which soon after started to fall apart. That was devastating. I definitely was going through a depression. I went through depression after losing my son, and that was like a double whammy. Lamar had used drugs casually in the off-season during the summer, but after the death of their six-month-year-old son, things got a lot worse. I leaned on my, my spirituality. I, I leaned heavily on that. I leaned heavily on my family, my friends, um, and he didn't. A friend of mine actually gave me like a heads up. They had, had gotten word from somebody that Lamar was having a problem um, with substances and we had an intervention out in L.A. There was a lot of denial, and um, you know, when it comes to an addict, you cannot force them to get help. You can't want it more than them. Where do you see yourself 10, 15, 20 years from now? Besides, besides one day you being my wife. How do you know I'm gonna be your wife one day? Uh, that's easy. How? You tell, when you know, you know. The summer of 2009, is when he met Chloe. He was used to the NBA spotlight, but the Hollywood spotlight is a lot harsher. And I think that extra pressure and then losing our son, and then I just feel like it was just a pot boiling over, really.